Hi there, in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can add section zooms to your PowerPoint presentation. This will allow you to quickly navigate between sections. You'll be able to zoom into a specific section which will make your presentations more engaging and interactive. And before we begin, if you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, tap that like button and ring the notification bell. This way you'll stay updated on all my future tutorials. And now let's head over to PowerPoint. Here is the presentation that we're going to be adding section zooms to. It consists of 20 slides, each organized into 5 sections, beginning with the title slide. If you want to learn how you can create this elegant presentation from the ground up, please check my other video where I go through each slide in detail and explain each step. I'll leave a link in the description section down below. Let's have a quick look at the introduction slide that we will be creating. Each of the images on this slide will represent one of the sections, and if I click on one of the thumbnails, it's gonna seamlessly take me to that particular section. And once I'm done going through the slides in this section, it's gonna bring me back to the summary slide. So let's go back to our presentation. The first thing that we'll need to do here is to create a new blank slide. Navigate to the slides pane, right click, and in the menu, select new slide. Make sure that this new slide is the first slide in your presentation. If it's not, simply drag it up to the top like this. Perfect. Now let's get rid of the default text boxes. Before we start populating our slide with the clickable section zooms, we need to mark the location for each of the thumbnails. And to do that, we're going to use smart guides. As you can see, I already have two guides running through the center of my slide. If you don't see smart guides on your slide, you would need to activate them first. For that, head over up top and click on the view tab. And in the view ribbon, activate this guides checkbox. Now let's start adding new guides. I'm gonna click on this vertical guide and holding down the option key or alt key if you're on Windows. I'm gonna drag its copy to the right side. Watch these digits that appear when you start moving the guide, they're telling you where you're located on your slide relative to the center. We want to stop at 16.40. If your PowerPoint is set up to use units other than centimeters, just make sure that you place your guide similar to mine, leaving some space at the side of your slide. Now grab the vertical central guide again and this time move it over to the left side. Don't forget to hold down the option or alt key to create a copy. And just like the first guide, we're gonna place it at 16.40. This way we have equal distance between the central guide and each of the side guides. Now let's grab the horizontal guide and holding down the option or alt key, move its copy 9 points up to the top and place one more copy 9 points down to the bottom. We'll need to add a few more vertical guides to the left side at 6 points and 5.40. And now add one more guide to the right side at 8 points and another one at 7.40. We're also gonna need two more horizontal guides that will divide the slide in half leaving some space between the top and the bottom part. I'll place one guide at 0.30 above the central line and another one at 0.30 below the central line. Alright, these are all the guides that we're gonna need. The next thing we would need to do is to create placeholders for our future thumbnails. They will be simple rectangles that I'm gonna fit between the guides. They will come in handy later on when we will be placing the actual slide zooms into this summary slide. So go ahead and click on the shapes tool. In the drop down, select the rectangle tool. Then place the cursor at the top left corner inside the frame right here and create a rectangle. Make sure it stays exactly between the guides. If you try to resize it, you're gonna feel when it snaps to the sides. Let's go ahead and create one more rectangle. Once again, I'm gonna go back to the shapes drop down and select the rectangle tool. And this time I want my rectangle to be placed in between these guides and one more rectangle right here. Alright, we need to create two more rectangles at the bottom. I'm gonna create copies of the top ones and place them in reverse order. So let me select the one on the right side and I'm gonna drag it down holding down the option key or alt key if you're on Windows. 
this will create a copy of that shape to make sure that it's placed in between the top and the bottom guys you can release the rectangle then select it again and start moving it closer to the guides. And once it snaps between the top and the bottom guides, release it. Now I'll do the same with the other rectangle. Perfect, all our rectangles are in place now. And before we start populating the slide with clickable section zooms, we need to divide the presentation into sections. And to do that, we need to go to the slides pane. Select the slide that's gonna be the first slide in your first section. Now right click it and choose add section. I'm gonna name mine section 1 and then hit enter to apply the changes. Now do the same for the second section. Right click it and choose add section and name it to your liking. I'll quickly add three more sections. Let's switch back to the introduction slide, we are now ready to start adding clickable section zooms. To do that, we would need to go up to the top and click on where it says insert. And in the ribbon, click on the zoom tool and choose section zooms. It will bring up this pop-up with all 5 title slides. Let's select all of them and click insert. I'll move them out of the way for now and I want to get to the first section zoom. Select it and place it to the left upper corner of the left rectangle like so. Watch for the appearing guides, PowerPoint will help you align the two shapes evenly. Now let's increase the thumbnail to the height of the placeholder. Since PowerPoint doesn't allow us to crop section zooms, we'll have to squeeze it so that it fits our placeholder. Don't worry about the proportions at this stage, we'll take care of it later. Now let's do the same with the other section zooms. As I mentioned, we can't crop section zooms, but what we can do here is to choose a different image for the section zoom. So we're gonna use the background images from each of the title slides and crop those. Let's go to the first title slide, copy the background image by selecting it and pressing Command C or Control C on your keyboard. And now let's go back to the summary slide and paste it here by pressing Command V. Alternatively, you can just bring in that image by going to Pictures, Picture from File, and select it from where you have it stored on your computer. But since I've done some color correction on my background right in PowerPoint, I want to use these edited images. Let's select the image and align its top left corner with the top left corner of the matching section zoom. Now I'll scale this image down a bit until it aligns with the bottom guide. And now let's crop the image. To do that, we'll need to head over to the picture format ribbon and choose the crop tool. Now I'll grab the right handle and move it until it snaps to the smart guide. And now we can adjust the positioning of the image inside the crop area like so. I also want to scale it down a bit more. Perfect, I'm gonna do the same for all five section zooms. Now we need to save each image, let's select the first one and right click it. In the drop down choose save this picture and save it anywhere you like on your computer. And also save the other four images. Then 
we can simply remove these images, we won't need them anymore. And now let's go ahead and fix our section zooms by replacing them with the images we've just saved. I'm gonna select the first section zoom, right click it, then hover over change image and click on change image. In the file explorer select the matching image from the ones we've just saved and click insert. It's looking beautiful. I'm gonna quickly do the same for the rest of the section zooms. Alright, now we can remove the blue placeholders from under the section zooms. We'll need to open the selection pane to get access to these rectangles. Click on any section zoom and in the ribbon up top switch to the zoom tab. In here click on the selection pane tool. And now in the selection pane you can select all five rectangles and hit the delete or backspace key on your keyboard. Perfect, all section zooms are ready and now let's play the presentation and try our section zooms. I'm gonna click on the first thumbnail and it brings me into the first section. And when I'm done going through the slides in this section, it brings me back to the slide with the section zooms and I can choose any other section I want to jump into. There is one thing that I want to fix here, I want my titles to appear on click. I'm gonna get out of the presentation mode by pressing escape on the keyboard. Now I'm gonna go through each of the title slides, select the animation and set it to on click. Let's run the entire presentation. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Until the next time, bye!